Welcome to Together in Worship once again. It's good to share with you in this way. We are together even though we are in different places and the fellowship is still strong. Today our focus is on how the Holy Spirit always points to Jesus. A lot of attention can be given to the Spirit and it's right that we think of him because he is sent to dwell within us and to empower us. He comes to encourage us to build our faith but he always points to Jesus. We're also going to consider where our faith lies when things become dark in our lives. Believing in God doesn't always make life easier. In fact, sometimes it makes life seem harder. But we remember that through it all, Jesus is the light that one day will brighten even the dark days and lead us to a future filled with the light of God. Let's think about that light that comes from knowing Jesus. It sounds like a Salvation Army song, but this is an American Methodist song. Why should life a weary journey seem? Jesus is my light and song. That's a great song of encouragement. It doesn't pretend that there are no challenges in life. It doesn't gloss over them. It reminds us that Jesus is our light, whatever happens, and his love and his presence is always there. So as we continue in worship, let's think about the greatness of God and his unfailing love. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise.
shall we pray together? Lord, what a mighty and wonderful God you are. We worship you in our homes again today, whilst all the time knowing, realising and feeling that we are part of your church today that is meeting across this country and around the world. People are singing, praying, reading, sharing bread and wine, or even sitting drinking tea whilst listening to music and readings from scripture and enjoying your presence. Some sit alone in a living room, others meet in a small group in an almost empty cathedral. And yet, Lord, every one of us worships your majesty, lifts our heart in prayer and is strengthened by your word. You truly are light in our lives, the light of the world, and we want this time that we read or listen to honour you. Wherever we are just now, draw near to us as we draw near to you. In this half an hour, help us to focus on you, Lord, giving you your rightful place in our hearts. Pour out your spirit upon us again, for we pray in your name. Amen. 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 We're still in the season of Pentecost, and so our two short readings for today mention the Spirit once again. Just two short sections of a conversation Jesus had with the disciples, and these are important truths for us. John 15, 26 and 27. I will send you the Spirit who comes from the Father and shows what is true. The Spirit will help you and will tell you about me. Then you will also tell others about me, because you have been with me from the beginning. And John 16, verse 12 to 15. I have much more to say to you, but right now it would be more than you could understand. The Spirit shows what is true and will come and guide you into the full truth. The Spirit doesn't speak on his own. He will tell you only what he has heard from me and he will let you know what is going to happen. The Spirit will bring glory to me by taking my message and telling it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. That is why I have said that the Spirit takes my message and tells it to you. May the Lord add his blessing to that reading from his word. Amen. Before we look at those verses again, here are some words by Baptist minister Nick Fawcett, who is a well-known devotional writer. This is a very honest poem that brings deep questions into our prayers. We may have asked these questions too. At the end of the poem is the sure message that one day, through all the darkness of this world, light will shine. This beautiful music is a great favourite of many at Gisborough Corps, especially among the band. This is the prelude on the hymn tune Lavenham, played by the International Staff Band.
I wonder if you've ever heard of the Brick Bible. Basically, it's the Bible stories in Lego that you can see on the internet. But I'm not allowed to show you any pictures of it because otherwise I'd have to pay them. So you'll have to take my word for it when I tell you that they picture God as an old man, a young man, and a plastic figure of a ghost in a white sheet with black panda eyes. It's a little amusing, but it does highlight a problem for many people when we talk about the Holy Spirit, or worse, the Holy Ghost. What is the Holy Spirit? We read, speak, and sing about him a lot. We even sing to him. But I confess I'm never comfortable praying to the Holy Spirit, unless it's asking him simply to come to us. And I think the reason for that is that the Holy Spirit is there to point us to Jesus, to worship Jesus and to pray to him. Is that why he's not described? Is that why it's impossible to picture the Holy Spirit? Now Jesus spoke about the wind, for example, how you, you cannot see the wind or control it, but you can hear the sound. Where I live, you can certainly see the effect of the wind in the trees next to our house. And so I'm going to say today that the Holy Spirit is not someone we can focus on, but he is someone who points past himself to Jesus. This is what Jesus said in our reading earlier. The Spirit will help you and will tell you about me. In other words, everything he does, everything, every ability that he gives, every influence that he has, should all point to Jesus. When the Spirit speaks, it will always be about Jesus. Now we talk about the Holy Spirit making us holy, but we know that what we really mean is not that the Spirit is making us like himself. Day by day, piece by piece, he's making us like Jesus. And then Jesus said this, The Spirit will bring glory to me by taking my message and telling it to you. I think those are very special words for us. The Holy Spirit is that aspect of God who brings the message of Jesus, the character of Jesus, and the grace and healing of Jesus to us. Everything that Jesus was as a man 2,000 years ago is now available to us by faith and by the Spirit who brings him to us. And so this is really a very simple message. We sang at the beginning about weary journeys and burdens. We've contemplated the questioning of our faith in a difficult world. In the words, Lord, there are times when I have to ask what, why? We have our own personal circumstances, our private thoughts, our temptations and our sins. What can the Holy Spirit do for us? Well, he brings Jesus near. Jesus who is the light. Jesus who brings a song. It's the Holy Spirit who takes what Jesus said to a group of 12 men 2,000 years ago and speaks those words to us. Or he interprets the words said to the crowd in Galilee and he applies them to us. Whatever Jesus said to them of God's love, the Holy Spirit brings to you. What Jesus said to the woman, neither do I condemn you. Or to the man, your sins are forgiven. The Holy Spirit says to you and to me. I might even suggest that where Jesus brings healing to those in need, the Holy Spirit, in response to the prayer of faith, can bring the healing touch of Jesus to us today. This is the work of the Spirit. He's not a ghost, certainly not. Neither is he just a power, a force like we see in Star Wars, for example. This is God himself, bringing the words and the actions and the character of Jesus right to you wherever you are today. The promise is for you, for your children, for those who are far off and to all those whom the Lord our God will call. Above all, the Spirit tells us that Jesus is our Saviour. That's his message to us. It's also his gift. Whatever we need from Jesus, the Spirit applies it to our life. You can receive all of that from Jesus today. The Spirit helping us, let's look at Jesus today, for he's the Saviour for us all.
and we pray together. Lord Jesus, all creation around us speaks of your glory. The Bible tells us your story of love and your spirit brings your grace and power right into our lives. Thank you, Lord, for what you can do in our lives, the freedom that comes with redemption, the joy that comes from the change you make in our hearts, the peace of mind that comes to us even in troubled times. What a saviour you are and what a simple message of love your spirit brings. I pray for those watching today who hear your voice just now, calling them to believe and trust and receive from you. Holy Spirit, bring the love of Jesus to them right now. For those who long for forgiveness, who hope for healing, who search for peace, Lord Jesus, touch them now. For each of us, Lord, may there be an answer to prayer for all that we need. We dedicate ourselves afresh to you that we might be filled again with your Spirit's power, that as he witnesses to Christ, so may we, pointing people to Jesus with words and actions. We also bring our world to you again in its great need and confusion. Lord, there are wonderful acts of kindness and so much good has come out of this crisis. But we pray for those who mourn the loss of loved ones. We pray for the health of those who suffer. And again, we pray for wisdom for those who make decisions. Through it all, may your church not only act with kindness, but speak in truth as we share the gospel of Jesus, the hope of the world. Lord, pour out your blessing upon us, your children, and may we know the joy that comes from the indwelling of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. <laughs>